Hey guys, Jason here with the One Stop How To Guys, bringing you episode two of Advanced Drupal Development. Now we're going to be doing a couple of different things in this episode, so let me bring up our mock-up here so we can take a look at it. Um, in this episode, what we're going to do is we're going to get this little block region in here. We are going to add the welcome section, and we're going to try to get this about us section in. I want to get all this done in this episode, so that in the next episode, we can start working on the products and the commerce stuff. Um, so we're going to kind of go across our menu here. We're going to get the about in, the products, the locations, and kind of work our way that way. So I'm going to try to tackle some of this other simple stuff in this episode so we can really move on and get into the, the fun commerce stuff. So let's start with this block here. Um, we're just going to turn this into a basic Drupal block. To do that, we'll go to Structure, Blocks, we're going to add a block. Um, this will be, we'll just call this the Homepage Call to Action. Um, and it looks like it says what you'll learn, so that's what we'll put in our block title. What you'll learn. And for right now, I am just going to throw some uh, lorem ipsum into this body here and we'll call it at that. Uh, what we want to do is we also want to place this currently in the highlighted section only on the front page. So we'll go ahead and save that and it looks like that posted into there as well so we need to get rid of that. Um, we will be adding the WYSIWYG module in here soon um, uh, we're just not there yet, and I, I'm just trying to get through some of this stuff first, so we will move that block down below the home page slider and make sure we save it. We'll close this down, and there we go. There's our block. Um, we will add the arrow in and stuff when we get into the theming, so for now, that's really all we wanted to do for that. Now, to get this little tiny welcome message in here, um, what we need to do is we need to actually replace Drupal's kind of static um, home page that pulls in all of the promoted content. And we want to do that with a page of our own. So what we're going to do is we're going to come to content and we're just going to add a, a simple basic page here. And we're going to call it welcome just so it has the same title as our mockup. And we're just going to say something like, uh, we're excited to teach you. And we will save that. So now we need to hover this here, or um, since we don't have the Path Auto module yet, we can get it here. Um, we need this Node 5 reference because what we're going to do is we are going to tell Drupal that Node 5 should be our home page. And to do that, we go to Configuration system site information. Scroll down a little bit here and you can see where it says default front page. Now this node is just that default collection of promoted to front page items that comes standard with Drupal. So what we're going to do is change that with node forward slash five, save it, close it down, and this now has become our home page. And this pretty much looks exactly like we wanted here. Um, so really, we're not doing anything crazy complicated yet. Um, just trying to knock out some of this housekeeping stuff. So next, we are going to add in our about content type. So we're going to go to structure content types, and we're going to add a new content type. And we are going to call this about page. And we'll say that content of this type will create a new about page. Now we're doing this for several reasons. Um, main, the main one being that when we use the path auto module, we want all of these about pages to be about forward slash and then the node title. So we're going to turn off the promote to front page. Now that doesn't do anything since we overwrote the default home page. We don't need the authoring information, and we can close the comments on this as well. We are going to leave it as, to be able to be placed in the main menu, um, 
So let's go ahead and move on and add the fields. The only thing we need here is the image and we can use our pre-existing image field. So we will save that as well. And we'll go ahead and save that. And just because of uh, my preference, I like to move that just underneath the title there. So now we're going to click over to the Manage Displays, do just a little housekeeping here. We'll move the image up and we'll hide that. And we will set the image style to something, for now, a little more reasonable, like the medium image there. So then we'll save that. Close that down, let Drupal refresh, and let's take a look back at our mock-up here. So we just have the title of About Us, a small body, and then a photo. So let's go into Content, Add Content, we'll add a new About page. We will call this About Us. Let's grab some Lorem Ipsum here and make that as uh, large as we want. And then I'm going to head over real quick to unsplash.com and we are going to search for computer and we are going to grab this image here and we'll just uh, save this image as about into our downloads folder. Alrighty, and now we'll grab that image and upload it. So let's go ahead and save that. And it looks like Laura Mipson just really wants to paste itself into my titles today. So let's go ahead and save that out, and now we have our about note. So now to get this onto the front page, we need to actually create a views block to put it there. Um, real quick here, so we have access to this page, let's go ahead and throw it in the menu. So now we have a good link there. Structure, menus, main menu, do a little reordering in that just so that it appears a little nicer. Alrighty. So like I was saying, to get that onto the home page, we need to create an about page views block so that we kind of can manipulate that and move that around. So let's go up to structure, views, we'll add a new view in here, and we'll call this about views because if we get more than one about page, we might want to build a sidebar menu and we can use views to do that automatically so that we don't have to keep adding items to a menu. Um, we'll say that we want it to be of the type about page, We'll create ourselves a block here. Um, we will get rid of the title. We want to display one item and we can continue and edit this view. So real quick, we're going to change the display name. So we will call this our homepage block. This will help us out when we are adjusting our blocks to know what's what. Um, so we've got the title in there. So we need to add some fields here. So if we type in about page, we can see we can grab the body, we can grab the image. We will uh, pull the label off of that. Let's rewrite the results and trim it so that we only get about 300 characters from that body. Um, and let's also say for now that the field can contain HTML. What this does is sometimes when you trim, if you have an open like a tag or an h3 tag or some kind of tag and it trims that before that tag closes what will happen is everything that follows will have that tag and it really screws up the way that your page looks so what this does is this will automatically close any open tags uh, that are left open when it trims so we definitely want to have that in there uh, we'll take the label off of the image, we'll set it to something like medium for now, and link it to the content. We'll do a little reordering here to help us out when we go to theme this section. So we'll save that out. And that looks exactly like we want it, so let's go ahead and save that. 
We can go into Structure Blocks. Scroll down and find our new About Views uh, homepage block. Configure that. We will place it in the content section, but only on the front page. So let's go ahead and save that there. Close that down. Let Drupal refresh itself, and there we go. We have our About block in. So now if we look at our, our mock-up here, and you can kind of see the site in behind it, We've got our homepage slider in, we've got our quick call to action, the welcome message, and our about us section in there as well. Uh, real quick, let's just knock out one more housekeeping thing. Let's add a block. We will call it the footer copyright, and we will just say copyright 2016, and I'll say one stop how to guys. Feel free to put whatever you want in here. Um, and we will place this into the footer and we want it on every page so we'll save that close this down and there we go we got our we got our footer copyright in there that's just one more housekeeping thing we won't have to to deal with later on again not a lot of new stuff in this episode we blazed through it um, this shows you a couple of things uh, one of which is once you really get the Drupal framework down and an understanding of how it works, you can really move quickly through this. I mean, it didn't take us very long to reset the homepage, create a new content type, add some content to that, create a view, and get that view onto the page that we wanted to get it onto. Um, Whereas in practical Drupal development, we spent a whole episode on almost each one of these pieces individually. We were able to knock them out back to back to back really fast without having to do anything, any real deep explaining. So once you get the Drupal framework down, you can see how easy it is to move around in it and get what you want done quickly and efficiently. So even though we didn't really learn anything new and we just kind of progressed our site forward, I hope you start to see that that once you do get Drupal down, you can really use it and, and leverage it to do a lot of really cool things without having to take hours and hours and hours to do it. So that's going to do it for this episode. Next episode, I do promise, we are going to start diving into commerce. Um, commerce is probably going to take us several episodes to get through. So unlike this video, don't expect to have this, this block maybe necessarily up and running next video. Um, Commerce has a lot of modules that are attached to it. Um, they have a lot of concepts that are, that are similar to some of the other things we've done in Drupal, yet very different in and of itself. So we're going to dive into that. We're going to dive into all of the different options as far as taxes and shipping and and pricing and product displays and all that stuff. And hopefully by the time we're done, you will be a master at Drupal Commerce. So for now, that's going to do it for this episode. But next episode, we dive into commerce. So I hope you like this. If you did, make sure you give it a like, subscribe to the channel, follow me on Twitter, shoot me an email at onestophowtoguys at gmail.com, whatever you want to do. I'd love to hear from you. So I will see you guys in the next episode. Later.